<laughs> Bravo's Real Housewives series is well known for its cast members' many on screen catfights, but one of the show's strangest battles, it's a legal battle behind the scenes, it just took a very odd medical turn. In 2015, former Real Housewives of Miami star Joanna Krupa sued Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Brandy Glanville after the latter claimed in a TV interview that Krupa had had an affair with a former co-star's then-husband and that he had told her that Krupa's private parts had a foul odor. So basically, you know, claim there was some no, we get dalliances. It. We get it. Some we get it. We get it. Fast forward. <laughs> now Krupa is seeking $2 million in punitive damages in a defamation court battle and has been ordered by a judge to hand over her gynecological records from 2000 to 2005. Man, this this I think whole reality scenario shows stinks. Hit an all-time stinky low. A stinky low. Thank you very much. <laughs> when you say a foul odor, women obviously are all very unique, and the judgment of odor is very unique. One person may it's very subjective, but the fact that if it is true, if her gynecologic records support the fact that she's got some stinkiness going on, right? So, so it's true, but still, it's such an egregious, egregious violation of her privacy that I. Because you're right. So, and I want to bring in Robin Sachs, an attorney, to get a legal opinion on this. Because, Robin, uh, this lawsuit. Does it pass the smell test? Does it pass the smell <laughs> test? <laughs> that, that's the question, right? The, the lawsuit has three different um, acts that they're talking about. One is slander, which is saying something bad or saying something awful about okay. someone. Truth is a defense to that. So if she, in fact, is smelly, then there is a defense to it. Now, the second count in this case is slander per se. That means it doesn't matter of whether or not it's true. It's the fact that you just even said it because it's so awful. They actually, back in the you know, 1800s, would call it a loathsome disease. I mean, you would never want to spread people's loathsome disease that's so awful and so private. So the medical records is one is going to one whether or not it is true and two whether or not it rises is it true but rises to the part of where it's a venereal disease. So Robin if it, if it is true but it's not a venereal disease then does she still have a case? That's when the smell test comes in. That's when we have to sit here and we're going to hope that jurors are going to be able to decipher. But I'll tell you. Would they ever have a scenario where they pass around panties to either a smell, smell expert or the, how would you possibly and the, and well, you do have that? To get panties from 2012 or whenever this was, yeah, they're right? Have, I mean, do you mean right, I have I mean, the problem have anymore? Yeah, yeah, yeah they're, they're going to have aired out by then. I imagine she'll start bringing a, another way around it from a legal point of view is you can start bringing in all of your other partners. You can start bringing wow. in other people. Wow. Uh, I will say, I will say what's interesting is that this is obviously a big back and forth and Glanville's saying that this case is an attempt to keep um, Krupa's name in the spotlight. But I can tell you this. This does not seem like a very good spotlight to be in. I, I think that sometimes with, with defamation cases by bringing the lawsuit, no one would have been talking about this probably, but now everyone's talking about it. Well, yeah, so for we another couple wonder, seasons. Especially because there is allegedly, from what I understand, a clause in the Real Housewives contract that says you are not allowed to sue fellow cast members. Oh, so in uh, addition to the gynecological records that got released, there was also a request for that contract. So I imagine you're going to see a legal battle first where you're going to have a fight of whether this case can even happen. Well, that's like a get out of jail free card that, that if you have this clause, that means you can slander your fellow. <laughs> right, no. I don't like you well, too. That, but that is a requirement in some ways with certain realities series where we know that the more grandiose a statement, the more viewers, the easier it is to tease the upcoming show, that they are often pushed to say these very extreme things. I think this will be an interesting case to see how it turns out, because it could theoretically change reality TV a little bit if she wins this $2 million judgment. Absolutely. But any woman on that jury is going to be mortified by this case. This is such an interesting case. Robin, thank you for your thank insights you. on Thanks, it. Thanks, Robin. Thank you. Anyway, we'll keep everyone posted as to what happens with this lawsuit. Certainly very interesting. We'll be right back. Coming up, a child cries out in one of the most